Picture me rolling down to South Carolina State. All right, the Alabama A&M versus Mississippi Valley State game is off because Mississippi Valley State still dealing with positive coronavirus tests in their program. Now, the game last week against Jackson State, that game was called off or postponed as well. And now our Stephen J. Gaither at HBCU Game Day is reporting that there is a deal in the works for Alabama A&M to travel to South Carolina State, Orangeburg, this weekend to play a game. Now, that is a pivot. Now, yesterday, Coach Connell Maynard of Alabama A&M talked to the media at the time, it was not publicly known that the Mississippi Valley State game was being called off. So during that time, he talked about the jitters that his team will probably face in their first game, whoever that's going to be. You know, every team get uh, you make your most improvements from your uh, first game to your second game. So uh, I'm pretty sure our first game, we're going to make some mistakes. Uh, we're going to have some first game jitters, and 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 so will our opponent if it, if it's their first game. So. Um, it's just it's just natural. Uh, first game, you're going to make some mistakes. You know, you're playing on the lights, and they're keeping score for the first time. So it, it's just natural. So Alabama a and in my opinion, a lot of people are strong contender in the SWAC, but it's going to be hard to gauge who's going to be the team to beat in the fall because we haven't seen everybody. We don't know who's going to get in there five or six games. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell the future, but definitely interested in putting our eyes on Alabama a and and look, if this game with South Carolina State comes together, it only makes logical sense. You have South Carolina State, you have Howard, you have Delaware State. They're out there in the Mad Max version of the MEAC trying to survive this spring playing each other, you know, multiple times. If they can fill the void with SWAC teams that might be missing an opponent, I think that's a win for everybody. We kind of get like a Celebration Bowl-esque, <laughs> MEAC SWAC Challenge-esque game going on there. And both teams will face a, a good opponent uh, when you have those cross-conference uh, games, if you will. So uh, it only makes sense to me from where I'm sitting. But we'll continue to follow this story at HBCUGameDay.com. In Atlanta, I'm Tali Carr. We'll talk to you guys a little later. Well, hey, thanks for sticking around. Don't forget, man, you love this Cross Colors gear, huh? We have a discount code for you. I'll put it in the description. And how about some Tupac-themed swag vibes here? All eyes on the T-H-E-E. -E. You like that? You, you can have that. Jackson State, you can have that one. It's on me. Picture me rolling down to Orangeburg. It could be a thing. <laughs> All right, for real, for real. You guys take care. We'll see you later.